whenever you're ready. Hi, I'm Jillian Godfrey. I am a junior marketing major, professional design and sales management. My name is Asher. I'm a marketing major here at Mays. My name is Alva. I'm an exchange student. I'm from Spain. My name is Jasmine Zaretsky. I'm a junior marketing major, specifically in professional selling and management. Howdy, I'm Emily Henson. I'm a junior marketing major, and my track is the professional sales track. This is my first role play, so I am a little bit nervous. I feel nervous, maybe more for the language. I feel a little bit nervous. I'm kind of nervous about the role play, but I'm actually kind of really excited. I'm not too worried. I've done six of these before for my minor. I know that it's just a normal conversation with somebody that wants me to be as successful as they are. I try to prepare very well, and I try to do my best. I went through like all the resources that Professor Lauren gave us, and then I went through like the case scenario, and then all of our notes from the videos and everything. Talking through all the different scenarios in your head is really important. There's so many different ways that a conversation can go, and you have to kind of figure out the way that you want to steer it so that you have the answers, but you also need to be prepared in case they throw you a curveball. I'm gonna go in confident and just do my best. Once I get it done, I'll be able to go home, uh, sleep well tonight after all this preparation. Just finished role play one, didn't go too bad. It was a little nerve wracking. I think it went well, better than I was expecting. It went good, a lot less nerve wracking than I thought it was gonna be. Overall, I feel like that role play actually went better than I expected. It actually went really well. I was actually very more excited than nervous. I think it went really well. I was able to close the deal. Yeah, I, I covered all the points that I wanted. The guy was very nice and he speaks slowly so I couldn't understand him. I went into it going pretty nervous because I didn't know what the personality of the person behind the desk is going to be like. But once I actually started talking with Jonathan, who was the name of the person I was really speaking with, he's very pleasant, very calm. The people that I was selling to were very nice. Uh, I think with the, the preparation that I had, uh, I think it went pretty well. I think the biggest curveball for me was having to address a woman as Scott since that was our role play. So it was just really uncomfortable when it's good to say yes ma'am, but it was actually you should be saying yes sir if you were in role play. I was very prepared to answer most of her questions. Over Overall, I felt like the main thing that I learned from this role play is I need to learn more about the other person. I came in with a lot of information that I was just reading off and spewing to the other person, but not enough of actually getting to know them. I don't know, it was just a really fun environment. I liked bantering back and forth, but no, I felt really good about it. It was really exciting. I'm actually very excited for the next one now, not nervous. Howdy, my name is Paul. Graduated December 2018 from Mays with the marketing sales track. I decided to work at AT&T. After graduation, I went through the business to business program. My name is William Brown. I am a lead college recruiting manager here at AT&T and I manage all of our uh, business and technology development programs. The buyer has been an amazing experience. Get a chance to talk to students, give them feedback. It's really valuable to them. And also all of us are passionate about developing others. So being able to be a mentor, it's, uh, it's been incredible. It's it's cool to see like what other people come up with. So for me, I did like charts and stuff. But other people do like completely different things, like faking a demo or something. So it's really cool to see that. The biggest recommendations you have for students taking this class right now that want to go to sales. Talk to Andrew Lord a lot. I feel like he helped me out a lot. Uh, not only through kind of like interviews and stuff, but through like the actual application process and college and going from uh, having you know this many different options after college. I feel like he knows a lot of people in the industry. So learning from your colleagues too. One of the things that I've been finding out is everyone does have their own spin on case competition. If you can find out, okay, this is what worked for me, and this is what worked for them, and you know maybe incorporate it into what you're doing, or just compare and contrast. It's always cool to see what other people have to say. So as a recruiter, we really love people who are authentic, people who can deliver a compelling conversation, and who uh, are passionate about sales and technology. I practice uh, virtual interviews. A lot of times, our recruiting, uh, uh, recruiting managers are not always going to be on campus to do interviews. So a lot of interviews that I do are going to be virtually, so that's Skype or FaceTime. So get real comfortable with um, talking on camera. Uh, I would recommend doing uh, role plays uh, because in our interview process we have a role play. So these experiences are valuable at AM where you get those opportunities. Um, it really makes the interview process a lot smoother and a lot uh, pleasant because you're familiar with one, the uh, behavioral interview and then a role play.